Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon. Bait the Gungeon. Going in as the hunter. Why? Because I, cause I feel like it. <laughs> Want to take a little peek at our, uh, our Ammonomicon. It's definitely a ways away yet. We've definitely hit a wall. As far as like... Oh, man. I don't know. I can't, I can't imagine. Is it seriously all credits and like the gray, uh, whoop, gray Mauser stuff at this point? Is that seriously it? That seems like it's a lot of stuff. Seems like it's a lot of stuff for just being split among those two. I mean, I know there's definitely a pretty substantial handful of challenges left. I know we got, uh, we got some credits things to unlock yet. And obviously we got like the uh, the Winchester whoop Winchester business going on. We gotta get that one. I think we I think we still have the blast helmet to unlock too by going through. Uh, I believe on the fifth floor we'll have to find the uh, whatever that son of an NPC is. You know the one the one with the helmet that we keep on kicking down. I believe uh, at this point we should be finding them in the forge is where we would where we would locate them to unlock the fantastic item that is the blast helmet. I probably like shouldn't have done this, but fair enough. Heavy boots. I have it in my head because of undermine, but all cuz all the all the boots in undermine give you a flat or a 5% movement speed up now. I'm like, oh, I see boots. There we go. Hell yeah, we got a movement speed up. Obviously, heavy boots does not give you a movement speed up. It wouldn't make any sense being, uh, you know, heavy boots anyways. But, alas, you know, why why not, you know? Brown chest, should you always open them up? Eh. It's, uh, it's a sometimes food, really, on the first floor, but... Uh, for somebody who does not really feel like going to the sewers, eh, yeah, it's not really my jam. The thing is, like, I, I got a, a comment the other day that actually, like, <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not obviously min-maxing these things. I have, like, I, I, I've played this game, like, a hell of a lot. The game's been out for so long. And it, people get to the point where, like, if you played the game, and this is not, uh, this is not like a, a, this is just a factual thing. I played the game, you know, a thousand, one hundred hours now. And any game that you play that much, I feel like there's a certain point of diminishing returns with, uh, with min-maxing, where you get to the point where I definitely don't need to min-max to beat the game anymore. I cle clearly, clearly beat the Lich 350 times in a row. Obviously, I don't need to min-max anymore. And quite frankly, it doesn't uh, it doesn't sound appealing to me to, to min max everything. Uh, I be I feel like you know I, I I there's more interest to me in not taking all the free goodies the game has to offer. Like yes, every single run could be an hour and twenty minutes. That is so I don't know at this point with this many hours in the game to me. Uh, that sounds so boring. <laughs> that sounds so boring. Uh, and every single run being that way seems seems wild. I'd, I'd rather take the challenge of being like, all right, we'll get a handful of items. Uh, we'll, we'll do maybe we'll do the the shorter secret floors, and uh, and we'll get like this the handful of items that will slowly like because there's less there. It's less likely that we're going to be continually getting the same things because that's the thing. That's the thing. If you got, it's like a game, a game recently that kind of had this problem uh, is Atomicrops. I mean, it's obviously still in early access, but it doesn't have a ton of items. So obviously, it's it's the extreme case of this. It's the extreme case of this. There's whatever, like 30, 30 items in the game or something. Over the course of your whole run, you're going to get, like, 15 items, you know? So, the fact of the matter is, every run is statistically going to be 
you know, like 50% the same, roughly, loosely, as your next run, or the last run, the run, the run in the future, the run in the past, you know, it's, that, that's obviously an extreme for me for Gungeon, but like when you play the, this long, you're like, I don't know, just give me like 10 items, and I want to appreciate those 10 items, obviously you get more than 10 items in Gungeon, but. I'm oversimplifying to explain like some of the reasons why uh, the <laughs> the worst best gungeon here. Sorry for mention. It's, uh, th sometimes these comments just hit me, and I'm, I'm like, oh man, like they ruin they ruin my mornings. They truly do. But uh, yeah, like for for min max, there's a reason I don't do it. You know, like call me in my last <laughs> two gun two gungeon series ago. And then I'll maybe be more interested in uh, in making sure everything is done 100% perfectly. But for in this point, I'm like, I don't want all of, like, if I get all of the items, I'm going to win prob probably either way. I find more interest in, uh, in doing it smoothly, getting on to the next run, seeing what the next run has to offer, and not making them all samey. The thing is, if you min-max too hard, all the runs blend together a little, uh, you know, a little too much, in my opinion. Obviously, that's not the complete case, and there's some situations where I get certain items that are way more fun to min-max with. Min-maxing, if you you know, if you don't know, being like doing everything as optimally as you can for the most desired results, statistically and everything like that. There's some items where it's fun with, and there's some items where it's not. And I'll like, like for for instance, Full Metal Jacket. Like if I see. I don't know, if I see the ability to get Elder Blank or something, or, you know, Meat Bun or whatever in the shop, like, maybe I'll min-max the hell out of the floor in order to get enough money to get something like that. But, it's otherwise, it's just like, I don't know. I've seen, I've seen so much of it, and I love the game still, but I love it still because I play it this way. I would not... Like, basically, if what you're asking for is, is uh, you know, sitting and mulling over every decision, getting an hour and a half episode every uh, every time, first of all, I just, I just, would, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I would, quite frankly, the series would be, would be over hundreds of episodes ago, if that's what you, you want. And it's not, right now, I guess it's not as much, uh, I'm not just, like, trying to clap back to that comment that really bummed me out. It's more just, like... It's more talking about logistics of playing games for thousands of hours and uh, and min maxing. There's some games where it they only you can only play them for a thousand hours. They can only be interesting if you min max them at a thousand hours. And then there's some some that I think become less interesting if you min max. I for me when I got to the point where I hit like I don't know. When I hit the hundred, hundreds of streaks of, of the Lich, it came to be a point where it's like, I don't really like the way that the uh, the extra modes, I don't, I don't like the method of which they make the game harder. So instead, I will just, uh, I will just elect to not make the game easier. It is effectively, has been my, uh, my methodology for it here. And uh, I don't know. I guess it's just more of a more of a clear up thing, so people don't have this thought in their heads that I, uh, you know, like if I if I skip something, I miss something. Consider that maybe I just don't care about it, cause I don't need it, you know. Oh, thank you. We got our mimic. This should be the last one. I think we we could have two left. I don't remember exactly. Just could have sworn though. Yeah, hunt complete. Not gonna skip back. Like I said, <laughs> kind of in the not in the necessarily the same boat as the mid max thing. I just I could ditch, ditch, and we restart the run, and we would start getting progression on the on the next thing. I think this it's gonna be okay. Would be all uh, good. But if I remember correctly, there's no. Did they add a? Did they add an unlock for doing cursed runs? If I remember correctly, there was not one originally. Like, for using the Hero Shrine and then winning. If I remember correctly, there originally was not a reward. I don't know if they added one or not. Something in my memory seems to think they did, but I think I might be making it up. 
Holy moly. All right. Gunsnake mad. Let me around. I love the barrel so much. It's such a good value item. Such a good value item. Really, really solid value proposition for uh, like a bullet per <laughs> bullet per penny, if you will. Not to min max too hard. <laughs> Oop. Okay. All right. Easy peasy. We had the full metal jacket too. If we even if we took a hit, we wouldn't have took a hit. Like, that's the one nice thing about the item, is that it does kind of effectively gives you sort of a guaranteed... See, like, at this point, yeah. I will, I'll do a little extra searching to try to find, you know, the secret room. Like, that's kind of the situation right there. Like, give me, give me a reason to min-max, and then I'll, I'll do it a little bit. Uh, but alas, I ain't, I ain't gonna cry about it. We'll buy the key and move on. Here we go. But, let's see. Kind of want to get the list of Gungeon... Gungeon unlocks. Uh, High Curse Shrine Unlock Gungeon. I have no idea if this is going to even bring anything up. I feel like... I feel like there's not... It's not even on. There it is. Doesn't really say anything about it. Alright, I'll look it up later then. But it doesn't, it, it seems like maybe not. I feel like it's one of the things that people would have, uh, would have told me. There's like all these things like, Rito, do this, Rito, do that. You, uh, you forgot to do this, you forgot to do that. I haven't gotten anybody say that I need to do the curse trying to unlock X. So maybe, maybe there isn't. I know there was not originally, like, that was one of the things, like, early on in the game, I was bummed about it when I did it for the first time, and I didn't, I know I didn't unlock anything, and I was like, what the hell? Seems like that should have unlocked something. What? But, I don't know. It, it would have had to be been something they added in the game later. But maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Do we have curse bullets unlocked? Do we have curse bullets unlocked? I feel like I haven't really seen them. They're, that's an item I really, really like. Ah, uh, doesn't look like it. I feel like it would be right here by all these. We don't have it unlocked. I don't know, maybe it's something like that. If that's the case, that's a thing I'd want pronto. That's a, that's a really solid, fun item. It, anything that really changes up... Uh, your methodology for how you what kind of items you do like to pick up and kind of like t tweaks what items you might consider buying I think is really fun whoop all right because that it, it, it basically makes it so it's like all right you get damage up so maybe damage up per curse with curse bullets maybe I do want to uh, purchase this item that will give me a little bit of curse that normally I wouldn't think would be worth the curse or worth the price but it comes with a little bit of a damage up at this time now it's kind of it's just a neat little item in that way especially when combined with something like uh, silver bullets which do we have that I feel like we do have that I'm almost certain we have silver bullets yeah we do I'm gonna look up uh, I'll look up curse bullets right now that it could be it curse Bullet dungeon. Maybe that's it. No, not curse cursed bullets. Defeat the shadow magician five times. Well Yeah, that's just one of those one of those unlocks that's just it's just gonna happen as we play the game. I think there's like quite a there's a big handful of items that are just beat the beat the blank five times, beat the blank womp. You know, certain amount of times. So, uh, those were obviously... There's nothing we're going to do about them. It's just when we get them, we get them. Bullet bore. I like it so much more now that it does not... Uh, yeah, they lowered the volume so much. 
helps a lot. Was I just I hated it. it was one of those items. It was kind of like a like old Vorpal gun, where it's like God, he was too close to me. I couldn't actually shoot him. I like the gun. I like the concept. The uh, the sound effects or the visuals or whatever of it made it impossible to use before. Happy to have it now. Curse pots. We don't need it. Don't need it. We already got, oh, we already got the mimic. So we lost a blank there by getting hit. See, this, this is what I kind of don't like about uh, Full Metal Jacket is some, if we get hit, sometimes I would rather, like, honestly, playing the game as much as I have, I would sometimes I would rather just sacrifice HP instead of a blank because I might run into a situation where I find, like, a secret room or something and I don't have any blanks because I got hit and I lost my blanks. Or maybe I would rather... Uh, save my blanks for the boss to guarantee that I would have a uh, you know guarantee that I would get my master around there so that's kind of my thought process why I, I kind of I don't love full metal jacket it's got some problems to it in my opinion that was bad that was bad all right not really worth the reward at all not really worth the reward at all. It's a fine gun. It's a fine gun. But if we get something like flying or fire resistance, it's going to be way, way better. Okay. Ah, uh, <laughs> failure. It's one of the race around at Gungeon, Gungeon Kong racing style. Whoop. All right. What do you got for me? Uranium amulet. I, th I feel like it's probably not worth 91. Might be. I don't know that we need keys either. We got a little bit of curse. We got two keys. Decent chance we'll, uh, we'll find, you know. Decent chance we're going to find a, a, a mimic or so over the course of the run again. We found one already. Really? Okay, laser sight. Solid. Makes things like Huntsman quite a bit better. Hmm... Alright. Big bonus it is. I feel like maybe uh, Magic Lamp is pretty darn solid. It's good on these large enemies that take, you know, aka bosses. <laughs> bosses are large enemies that can take all these hits. Stacks up pretty well over time. Uh, we have one blank, but the thing we got to remember is not to use it. Because it will use itself. That's the weird thing about the Full Metal Jacket. Don't use blank. Unlearn how to use a blank. Forget the Q button. Forget the Q button. Don't Q button. Thank you. Super solid. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just had you. Whoop. We used it a bit. But yeah, we just had it like two episodes ago. We can use it a bit. The fun thing about it is we can we can use it. It'll drop the item. Like we got a lot of help to play around play around with. So uh I don't know. If we get hit, we get hit. Not a big deal. I don't want to, but oh well. Alright. Sinner Grace, though. Ooh, wait a minute. Was I wrong? Is hel helmet person on this floor? Maybe. That, or we have another NPC that I'm not remembering. Who else do we not have? Oh, praise Helix. One fish, two fish. We don't got the synergy. I mean, we do have the synergy. We don't got the synergy right now because we don't have ammo. But here we are. Helps a lot with this. Makes it really crazy good. 
Does this... It totally breaks this. Interesting. Just completely breaks it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see if I can kill him anyways, though. You can get him with the explosions on the wall. Kind of like an immediate detonation. Weird. Weird. Yeah, definitely a, definitely a dis synergy. I don't really want to waste this. It's just, it's so good. We just don't have like a lot of, a lot of solid room clearing things though. That magic lamp though. With the helix bullets, twice the stacks. Hate to, hate the min max, but uh, <laughs> definitely don't hate the min max. I'm gonna, I need, I need to stop saying that. People are gonna think I'm unbelievably salty, and no, I, that was this morning. Whoop. 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 It's, Cause I like the thing is I like min maxing if I can do it on the fly. That's effectively what it is. If I can min max on the fly, I love it. If min max requires extra time and going back and and uh, backtracking, screw it. Don't it, not interested. Don't at me. And definitely don't comment at me <laughs> if it, if it's like a, if it's especially if it's something I meant mentioned, you know. But uh, if it's, I love to min max on the fly. If it's just like I have this item, what item do I want? Or I see this is in the shop. What do I want? To, like what combos would be nice? What what am I lacking? I like that. That's the kind of min maxing I like. That's what I that's what I enjoy. If I can do it on the fly, if it doesn't take my time, is effectively like the same kind of min maxing you would employ in a speed run. What's going on here? Yeah, okay, so we're apparently only on the on the fourth floor. Bye. Alright, so we might have to do it one more time. Might have to do it one more time. That or, or... I can't remember if this is the time it has the chain on it or not, and we unlock the item. Ooh. Ooh, thank you, Lament. I shouldn't have done it then, but... Doesn't really matter. Oh my god. We are honestly we already got our lament value. This is so good. We could sell lament. I'm probably gonna use it for this floor and then and then sell it. Just say we got our got our our goods out of it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's a good item to keep. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. We'll we'll go crazy. All right. Thank you. Fantastic. This is like probably one of the one of the more solid things <laughs> I could have gotten on that. Like it, it had an immediate use to, like literally in that exact same room. I was oh happy to use it. I'm just gonna keep on going with it. Such good room clear. I mean, we have such an obvious thing for the boss with the uh, the magic lamp with the helix bullets that I feel like we can totally use this. There was an ammo drop back there. Who cares? Not I. We'll be okay. You'll be okay too. I promise. Whoop 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 whoop. There's another mimic. Correct about the key economy. We definitely did not need anything more than we had. Did not waste anything. As a result. Oh, eh. Maybe the worst boss we could have had for magic lamp, I guess. Kind of wanted one big enemy that we could do. Oh my god, why did I do that to myself? We have two blanks, so we don't use any. Don't use them. Why did I do it? Just to just to assert dominance, I guess. Yeah, that sucks. You can do it again. The fun thing is, if you uh, if you do it right before you kill the boss, it does just kill all the enemies for free. Thankfully, we did not get the uh, the hit. 
That is solid. Definitely don't need Old Light's Flask. Hey, what? Is the beam weapon seriously not... I'm going to sell this. Don't need it. I don't know. I'll probably... I'll probably keep Lament at this rate. Don't need all this money. But I definitely don't need all those items either. Oh, there's still a, there's still room left down there. All right. Two rooms left. Son of a goblin. Who would have thought? <laughs> it's okay. Now I'm angry. I got the uh, enraging photo. Gives me the synergy with the uh, the orbital, so we'll just keep it. We'll keep it for that. Could have totally sold it. But, eh. Don't matter. There we are. Vulcan freaking cannon. Oh. <laughs> do we have... Why do we... We're getting so many end of room drops. It's like we have all kinds of coolness, but we shouldn't really have much. If if any, what coolness would we have? I don't know what coolness we would even have right now. We're just getting really lucky, I guess. I want like bouncing bullets at this point. Oh, really? That'd be pretty nice. I wonder if I could have made it across. Wink. All right. I guess, like, what do we need at this point? What would we want, if anything? Probably, like, uh, probably just, like, ammo. Ammo up. The best possible thing would probably be Holy Grail. It's pretty crazy. Oh, we got the one fish, two fish. Red fish, blue fish. Okay. What does this synergy do besides obviously make one red and one blue? Seems like it might be like... I mean, it's setting them on fire. I guess the red one is is a fire firefish because we have nothing else that would be setting him on fire. So I guess that's just what it is. It's just fire bullets. Whoa! Send him, him. All right. I don't, I like, I really, uh, uh, for some reason, I, I wish that they really, there was more to do with the past. Because I, there's a lot of days where I just, I get to the forge and I'm like, man, I really like the, the character's past. But it's just, I definitely, I don't like the idea of not having the normal ending. Like, I've definitely considered a, adopting the secondary method of quote unquote completing the game being like, uh, just doing the advanced dragon. But I feel like... I don't know. Is that... Is that just as hard as doing... Going to the bullet hell and doing the lich? Just doing the advanced dragon and then... And then hitting the credits? Even then you don't... You're not doing the past. Hmm. Mine cutter's not gonna help us more than anything else. And I don't even, you know, sticky crossbows, like, I got it just because who knows? Maybe we'll get the synergy with it. Mine cutter, I actually, like, really like. So it's kind of funny that I, I did pick sticky crossbow over it. Whoop, whoop, hey, whoop. But it's more just like, I like the stick, I like getting the sticky crossbow 
because of its synergies. I don't like it because of how it is normally. I like it because of its potential. Its potential is pretty is pretty broken. Ubudan. I would love the Ruben, Ruben, Rubenstein Mark II. Or no, it's just, it's just called Rubenstein's Monster? I mean, I'd like the Rubenstein Mark II. I think I combined the two things I want. Rubenstein Mark II turns it into Rubenstein's Monster. That would be great. The, the further we go into the unlocks of this file, the harder it will be to actually get that item. Because we'll have more things to potentially pick from oh I was counting on you being dead I was counting on him being dead I was still like I really count on you being dead there holy moly he took forever okay 87 please don't have duct tape I'll cry okay At this point, at this point, I'll say goodbye. And apparently, we've never picked this item up, which is crazy, because it is such a basic standard. How have we never had the potion of lead skin this whole series? Makes you invincible, reflects bullets back. It's such a great brown chest active. It's one of the reasons that I will just blindly open brown chests because there's some items in them that are just fantastic this is one of them just like for for bosses it's just it's just crazy good it's it's so simple but it's so solid pretty pretty long bout of invincibility with the ability to reflect bullets back with your body it's just it can add up to a lot of damage but the crazy thing, the, the thing that's great about it is you get, ah, uh, the dog was not there yet. The crazy thing about it is that uh, you still get a shoot, unlike some of the other invincibility items. That's what's really crazy about it. Stout Bullet's fantastic. Especially with Potion Lead Skin. Because we can pop it and get really close and we can do crazy, crazy damage. Alright, it's getting stupid. All we need is like a, like like a remote bullet or something. Not that we need it. This run is popping. This run is already crazy. All right. Wait for the phase where he does the fire breath. We'll reflect the most back that way. Plop, plop, plop. If it ever happens. Not that one. Hup. Come on, mister. He ain't doing it. I guess we'll just use it for the next phase. Fair enough. Got a little bit of shots out there. Should we get? Yay! Easy, easy one cycle. Not even close. <clears throat> the only thing that would actually be cooler than a, something like remote bullets if we got scatter shot right now with all of these giant genies too. That'd be pretty nuts. Don't need it, but oh well. Don't need it, but oh well. Pop on down. I was just making sure there wasn't something like ammo. Oh, good. Whoop, whoop. 
Whoop. Probably one of the uh, MVPs of the run, though, is one that we got immediately, and th and it's this is why it's so good. You get in, and you never think about it. It's probably the movement speed up. Such an underrated item. It's just all movement speed ups. They're so good. You know what? I'm happy I got the membrane. It's such a good deal. It's such a good deal. Whoop, whoop. Get out of here. What do we got in the 250? Oh, this is... This is the this stuff right here. Got to be close enough. But the fun thing is, we got the, the helix bullets and the sap bullets kind of weirdly work against each other, but also together at the same time. Where you, we have to be close, but we have to be like at a specific, very specific distance. Like I've talked about this before, how I truly like Helix Bulls, because it, it changes up how you play the game a bit, but not enough. Not so much like, um, it's not like the bloody scarf kind of a change, you know, where it's like it completely uproots your abilities. So you can't play it in a normal, like you can't, you couldn't play it in a normal way that the thing is, we can play in a normal way with Helix Bullets. It's just a little bit less optimal. Where with Ancient Heroes Bandana, you can no longer, like, you can't really play it exactly in the same way. You can you can dodge your, 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 your poof a certain distance away. But, like, the fact you can't dodge into walls, the, uh, whoop, everything. It's, like, the, the timing is a little, just a little different. It's not quite the same. Whoop, 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 whoop. Click that. But where it's like, it's, see, look at this. We could, we could just fire like normal. We're going to hit him completely anyways. But we can just take a little bit of extra time to guarantee that we're in a, in a prime spot to do even better. Is what I really like about Helix, what I like about Stout Bullets. We got two, two great examples of, of items that have technic, technical downsides to them. In the sense where it's like uh, helix bullets can suck if you miss with one of the shots. You're technically taking a penalty. Hell yeah. Movement speed up. Why not? You're technically taking a penalty. But it just... If you're moving correctly, if you got the right movement uh, and everything, the right positioning, it's not really going to happen very much that you are taking that penalty so therefore overall you're getting the benefit way more than you're taking the penalty do we have anything better i don't know i guess we'll use a little bit of this push him in the pit this is uh not killing fast enough We're having some problems with our weaponry here. Also, I, I, just, I truly do. This this is like, for some reason, every time for me, this is probably one of the hardest rooms on the whole floor. Like, a lot of the times I have more trouble with it than I do with the whole, with the freaking lich. Got our invincibility on our space bar too. We haven't used it in a million years. It's okay. We get our rage. Get to unleash our rage. Whoop. All right. You know what? Actually, I really like this gun. It's it's simple. And it gives us that bouncy bullets we were kind of asking for earlier. Okay. Got to be almost there. Ew. Hate this room. Too, too big and chonky. Too chonky, too chonky. Okay. Send him in. The thing with the bouncy bullets and stout bullets is like, like they kind of don't function together great because stat bullets does give you a damage penalty a slight damage penalty if you 
shoot too far away. And bouncing bolts are kind of just like, hey, we might hit the, we'll hit the enemy later. Every once in a while, so. They kind of, they kind of have a slight poor interaction, but not, it's not like egregious or netting. Only 30 shots. Whoop, 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 whoop. I don't know. We're, we're maybe, uh, well, we got the rage now. I was going to say we're maybe going to get through our, yeah, can't do it. Could actually like get a decent decent chunk of damage off with this. Not bad actually. I'll wreck the big boy. Second phase, I feel like we can have a, a really easy solid time with the sticky crossbow. Strictly strictly because of the helix bullets, because it kinda when you multiply the bullets of this it really, really works well because the explosions, as far as I'm aware, don't take the damage penalty of uh, of helix bullets. Helix bullets giving you a you know you don't know helix bullets gives you a damage penalty. So if you wow, if you don't that was stupid. If you don't hit with every shot, you do less damage. Or if you don't hit with both of the helix shots, scatter shots the same way. They buffed it since its original form, and it does not. Uh, it doesn't. It's not a garbage item anymore. It used to be garbage item. All right, solid. So much health. Unbelievable amount of health. We're completely fine here. Whoop! 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 Hey! Yep! 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 Hey! <laughs> I, don't know, I wonder is it, is two or three optimal? Don't know. This will actually be pretty solid. Oh, it's so slow. Are we hitting it? We are hitting him. But the beam's gone. I don't understand. I like the rage damage though. I like that rage damage. Damage boosting baby. Anywho, that is a dead freaking lich right there. And we should have plenty of uh, of credits to buy. What was it? Was it? I think it was Vorpal Bullets we had to unlock back there. And then maybe, maybe there will be a yet another restock there. Who knows? When we come out. I mean, that would be very ideal. I love Doug's items. I have, I don't know. I just have a, an affinity for his stuff for some reason. It just, it seems like it's some of the more exciting things, like some of the things they added later on. So got that big fat goose egg, zero deaths on the file. Loving it. Loving it. Okay. We do have this done. Mimic tooth necklace. 25 gun net. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Vorpal bullets. Unlocked. Aha! The chain's there. Haha! -ha, not this time, sucker. <laughs> you know, before you started kicking my helmet into that pit, I had uh, long since given up on getting out of this place. But now that you've come to the gungeon, I know I have to get the hell out of here. So regardless of your intentions, thank you for rejuvenating my ambition. I've ordered something from the gungeon acquisition department. Hopefully it'll come in handy. If you find it down there, feel free to use it. It's not like you have any respect for personal property anyway. Now leave. All right. So we finally got that one done and out of the way. That's all done. Napalm strike. We'll probably get a fresh set of Goopton items too, if I'm going to be honest. Still missing uh, those items. Microtransaction gun will probably be one of the last things we get. But yeah, here's hoping that we get another set of stuff here and another set of stuff here. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more Gungeon. If you want to support my channel, help me do this full time. If you're one of the people who just uh, wants to show some some, some extra extra love, patreon.com slash retromation. Shoutouts to Ounsu and Throbo for supporting at the Go Team Gungeon tier, getting a shout out at the end of every Gungeon episode. 
thank you guys. I, 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 sorry if there was some saltiness early on. Like I, I really want to say, you, you know, you guys are overwhelmingly great, and that's why when people are, uh, are salty and aggressive in the comments and everything, it stands out, it, and that's good. Like, thank you guys for making it that that stuff is weird. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.